what's up y'all welcome back to another vlog Whew, i took the best shower in my life um i don't even know why i put water on i mean turn y'all on i'll brush my teeth but let me brush my teeth real quick and i talk y'all ears off really quickly I did a little rough little cleanse of my face in the shower. Nothing special. Just put some moisturizing instrument. SPF on real quick. This is not no facial, my facial routine that far. I just need to put something on my face so it won't be dry. I ain't like doing my facial routine. No, nope, no type of facial stuff right now because it's not even the morning time. It's 3:13. My kids think y'all buzz in a second, but like I was saying, what's up? Welcome back to this vlog. Welcome or welcome back to this vlog. I am Ken or Kendra. Whichever you prefer to call me is perfectly fine with me. Whew, girl, today is Wednesday. The little clip y'all seen, if I put it in, I'm not sure. Before this clip was me going out to eat to the Mexican restaurant, of course, with my sister, my middle sister. She's the one who lives in Chicago. She's here visiting. She's staying for two weeks. She leaving the weekend uh, after Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, she wanted to go to the Mexican restaurant. So that's where we went yesterday. Well, she actually treated me, treated me to the Mexican restaurant. Um, and like I said, today is Wednesday. Um, I just got done working out. Me and my sister, baby sister, did a home workout today. A little quick little hit circuit. Um, I said I went to the gym because she was tired this morning, but we still made sure we got a workout in. Um, I quit 75 soft, 75 hard, whichever one y'all want to call it. I was calling 75 soft because I wasn't doing a two workouts a day. <sighs> I quit because I realized that it just wasn't, it wasn't meshing with my lifestyle. And a lot of times when you do like these challenges and stuff, um put some lotion on while i'm sitting talking to y'all a lot of times i use olay lotion y'all know this y'all know y'all already know how i get down how much i love my olay but a lot of times when you do these challenges a lot of times it can like take your mind off of actually gaining the discipline and becoming consistent in my opinion for me this is what this is how i feel and this is how i was feeling and it put my focus on just trying to, who was that, my kids? Yeah, my kids off the bus. But like I was saying, it put my focus on trying to hurry up and complete the task that's in the challenge throughout the day, regardless of what I'm doing. And it's just like, I be feeling rushed. I be feeling overstimulated. I be feeling because sometimes I could be tired and have done so many other things that was on my to-do list, but I may for, may have forgotten to read ten pages of the book and of my book, and I'm tired trying to scram through ten pages, and that's not even beneficial for me because if I'm scramming through it, if I'm rushing through it, I'm not even getting what I need out of those ten pages of that book because I'm literally just reading just to say that I did it. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to feel that way. I have came a long way in my journey with self-development and allowing God to get me to a place to where I am rooted in him. And um, I'm finally consistent with working out. Like I, I love the feeling of it. I may not work out every single day, but at least four to five times out the week, I'm working out. Um, and yeah, I eat, I don't eat bad, I eat somewhat, I eat pretty, pretty healthy, pretty good. Um, I am human, I have my little cheat meal or little fall off moments, but for the most part, I eat pretty good. And so I'm just resting in the fact that I have grown and I am still growing and I don't want to do something just for the sake of saying that I completed a challenge because I feel like I was just that was my goal to just say that i completed it and i don't want that to be the goal i want it to be sustainable 
growth like sustainable like I don't know I just want it to be sustainable I want it to be something that I actually did with intentions of doing it for that like doing that thing for that thing not doing it for because it's a challenge if you get what I'm saying hopefully I'll make I make sense and they don't sound confusing but yeah I quit it um I have not uploaded a video in a minute let me check actually y'all it's loud out there all my nieces well, I'm not all. I only got one niece as of now. My niece and my nephews out there now. My kids. Um, my two sisters. But when is seven? It's been six days. It's going to be seven days. Well, seven days since I uploaded my last video. And that's just because it's just been... Y'all know I live with my parents. Hold on, y'all. Um, y'all know I live with my parents. So, it's just been... Yeah, it's just been um, not too much going on. Just my... Parents got the carpet, they carpet redone in the front room and whatnot. And so all the furniture was in the dining room. And then my mama's birthday weekend. Well, today is my mama's birthday. Actually, happy birthday, my birthday, November the 15th. But she had her bir a birthday celebration this past weekend. And it just all ran in with each other. So I didn't have no space to like, I didn't want to like record with the house not being like I was just sitting in the room because the couches was in the dining room. I mean, yeah, the dining room for a few days. And then, yeah, my mom's birthday celebration. I didn't want to shove the camera and, you know, her celebration with her friends, stuff like that. So I just was like, you know what? And then plus, I just really needed to take a step back because I'm, I'm just in this, in this place. And y'all, I'm just rambling. I'm talking y'all ears off. I'm just in this place where I'm trying to figure out. I cannot do two things at once at all. I'm just trying to figure out what is it the hold up in my life is it a hold up and if it is is it because of me and I kind of realized that maybe it is because of me um I never realized how little I exercise my faith in God um and I'm going to bring this up because I feel like it's a lot of people like me that was maybe raised in a church and heard certain sayings about um, God can do anything but fail and he's the God of the impossible and there's nothing too hard for him. My, the pastor that I was raised under, he used to say all the time, there's absolutely positively nothing too hard for God. And that was just what he stood on. That was his quote. That was his saying. And so I was raised hearing these things about how God is just so mighty and, and there's nothing impossible for him to do. Like he is the God of the impossible. But I, I on, simultaneously hearing that I'm seeing, I've never seen people really walk with this impossible, walk in the impossible, if that makes sense. Like people say that he has faith, that they have faith in him and that he's the God of the impossible. But they only believe when in certain things like I want my faith to be so rooted to the point to where and it is but it's only there when I'm like thinking about it but like when I'm just living life on auto autopilot I realize that I'm living it according to how I was raised like unintentionally if that makes sense like I believe you can raise people from the dead I believe like now not back in he did it back then but i believe now like he can raise people from the dead i believe um he can heal like miraculously heal someone who is literally two hours two seconds from dying and can heal them like that i believe that and i want to see the impossible happen in my life i don't want to continue to talk myself out of the miracles and the miracles of god um, and I think that's where I'm at. I think that's where he got me at. I think he have exhausted all of my options. Like all of my options in life, in my life. And he's forcing me to depend and to depend on him to where he can show me his glory, show me his strength, show me his miraculous ways and all of his magnitude. Um, he can show me how he's the God of the impossible. He can show me like how he makes a way out of no way. He can actually show me that um, in this lifetime now. And I don't have to wait till I get to heaven to see this, these things. Like this is what he can do now on earth. But it's so hard when you're around people who look like, who, who I feel like just 
people look at me or judge me based off my walk and me doing things based off what I'm feeling led to do or what I'm hearing God telling me to do and they like but that don't make sense why would God tell you to do that if he he like they have their own theory of how God is but they just don't understand and but I have realized that I have been walking on autopilot and so now I'm at this place now that I quit 75 so I'm focusing on being very intentional with where I put my energy at and where I put allow my thoughts to my thoughts to go and so now in this season of my life I'm focusing on completely resting and relying on him and knowing that he can literally do anything I don't want to think that the impossible is impossible for him because it's not like he literally can do anything absolutely anything and one of the ways to strengthen that confidence in him is his word is to read his word to constantly read his word read the bible read what he left here for us um to to hear from him the number one ways that we can hear from him read your word pick up if you're having a problem that i'm prob that i'm having the problem that i'm having where you have faith in god but you feel like that you know his power, but you're not allowing his power to be manifested in your life because of maybe how you was raised or just out of fear or of the unknown or whatever case may be. Read his word because everything that I have read within this last past couple of days have just reminded me how faithful and how mighty and how loving and how strong he is, how miraculous he is, how just how amazing he is. Like he is just so amazing and he's just so mighty and it's nothing that he cannot do. And so I'm just constantly just reminding myself. Y'all just talked y'all ears off about. But I'm just constantly just reminding myself throughout um, these last past couple of days since I decided to stop doing 75. Um, so I decided to stop doing 75 soft because I just, yeah, I feel like that's that's what he's trying to get to me. Get through to me. It's like, girl, sit back, rest in it, rest in me and knowing that I am God and that I got you, that you have nothing to worry about. So as he reminded me, I'm reminding you to sit back. If he have you at a place of where he, you feel like he's having you to fully depend on him, like he exhausted all of your options. You have nowhere else to turn. Maybe you need to just sit back and just rest, rest in him and remove your worries and just allow him to be God and just know have the faith in him and to in knowing that he can literally do anything no cap no put no top on him put no limitations on him he can do anything literally anything and I want to see those impossible things happen in my life and the people life around me so yeah I'm gonna put my clothes on real quick girl I just talked to y'all as I 14 minutes but yeah I'm gonna put my clothes on to all of my new subscribers, to everybody who have subscribed and commented, hey girl, how you doing? I see y'all. I'll be, I be commenting back because I don't get that many comments, girl. Let's just tell the truth. But I'll be comment, I be trying to comment back when I see them. But if I don't, I still comment back sometime. At some at some point in time, I comment back. But hey, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Nothing but good stuff and positivity goes on over here on this channel. And you don't want to miss anything because we live in life together. And I just want to show the real. I want to show the 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 raw of life and this journey that I'm taking. I want to take it with y'all so we can all become the person we need to become here on earth before our time is up. For the clock stop ticking. Um... And yeah, like I really need everybody to make it, make it to heaven. <laughs> and so that's my goal. I want to show y'all that it's a way to get it done without you feeling like your life is boring or you giving up so much, which you will have to give up a lot. But what you will get in return is so much greater. And, and I'm still waiting on that greater. But we're going to do it together though. We're going to do it together. Keep ourselves encouraged. But... Look at this little minion. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. What? He followed me everywhere I go. My nephew. Child, my brother got this music loud. It's all get out. 
trying to turn off my mama light, child. I don't even know how I turned it on, honey. My crazy tells self that ran to the car. We're trying to lead the kids to run a Walmart and don't got no brow pencil. Don't worry about it. Our first stop got to go. I gotta go straight to the makeup aisle. You ain't got one? And get a brow pencil. Oh, because right, you gotta pull off her. Come on, yeah, come on, come on. I'm trying to leave my mama with the kids without her. She know, but. She know, but she ain't gonna say nothing yet. She gonna call. We, we, we can't really ask her because she gonna say no. So we gotta just gotta dip leave. on her. <laughs> so we finna go to the store and get um we finna go to the store and get some stuff to eat for dinner some um I'll tell y'all when we get there cause it's dark y'all can't even see me oh, whoop, standing right here. I thought she needed to lean over big mama I don't need to lean over I like to walk straight up you like to do what guy? <laughs> you like I like to walk straight up <laughs> I will hope you do. <laughs> yeah. I just keep looking at them old people that are working out to that door. Jesus, I know you just out. You just So is that? Chow. I ain't got no brows on. I got to walk my head down. Until I get to the makeup section. You know you only get one feet that means you fat. I put the... Lord, you are good. And yes, I'm outside looking a mess. With my house clothes. Magic business. You can do it. And that's on seven minutes. I can't you. The guy who said that is in the one that I owe you. I can't break you. Even if. Huh? Where we at? Honest. No, I need an elf brand. Oh. I need something that's gonna be a little cheaper. Cause I got brow pencils at home. This ain't elf neither, baby. Scope and tame. Instant brow lift. Praise God. Okay. Now I have a tendency of getting something that's not my color. Can y'all believe it's the end of the end of the year? Man, that's crazy. It's like man. The whole end of the year. Neutral brown. Hey. My childhood, I don't remember these days going by that fast. When I first seen these, I'm in Walmart can you tell to just sitting these roses out like this in the three points. You come to find out. They make up brush covers. I thought they was roses. I was just saying, I three pack and these get these Kyra, I, th I thought them was roses too. <laughs> oh. I said, I know they ain't got these roses sitting there like this. Let's see. I'm pay for it. Let me get a comb. They ain't got no comb. They for sure have the comb. Kyra, Kayla comb is in your own car. I need that. But then y'all don't have a comb bag. I need to see a mirror, y'all. Lord, you should look in the camera. They watching you anyway. All right. I need to you wanna sit it up right there? Cut it out. Somebody cut it out. I'm gonna see. You feel so good. I don't even know about these words on the field. Baby, y'all do not want to ask her. Show it up, baby. I ain't going to deal with the $3 brown pencil. All right, let's go. Let me get some, um. Which one would you rather take? $3 or bomb money? <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember we spent like. Oh, did y'all know that Walmart sold Dossier? Did y'all know? I want this one. Oh, they got the Bab sold. What? I want this one. They add up a lot of them. Do you use these Yeah, I have to you like it. I loved it. I had the watermelon time. Mm. Yeah, I have this one. This one, because I already had this What one. you mean, bab, this, this bab salt? Yeah. Oh, that's I thought you said bab soap. You know I don't care for watermelon. Girl, I love watermelon. You tripping. All right, let me get what I need. Oh, this strawberry smells good. 
I can't use that because I already started them on this. I want to see if I can get all of them for that price. For six something, are you gonna let me have a bag? No, no, and no. Wait, look down there. Let me bag you for myself. Wait, Golly. I've never seen this big pack like this. Me neither. That's degree. why I don't believe it. <gasps> Seven dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna get these. Y'all. No, no, and no. No, no. I'm bad because I need that. I asked first. First come, first serve. I'll give you ten dollar box. I might as well not. You got ten dollars? First come, first serve. I asked first. No, y'all get y'all own seven dollar pack. Yeah. Y'all got kitchen. I'm, yeah, thanks for reminding me. So I almost forgot. What's this? Baby, she on my offside. Baby, she on my unicorn. I'm on. What? Mm. What's that? I said I want to try the dove. How much that cost? Just get a regular color. But they're like for big teeth. Yeah, nah, she needs the smaller teeth. And Tony got King in this one right here. So yeah, I'm gonna get her this one. You said what, Kathy? You ain't never tried to do a body scrub. This smells nope. like the nato. That tastes like the nato. Smell like it. I ain't over here eating body wash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to try the the dove scrub. I tried this one. You ain't tell me that. Yeah, I had this one. Cause mm. I had the that body wash. That smells good too. Like I had this. She don't care for what she thinks. She too. Big. She thinks she too big. This is what I said, girl. Well, should I get my kids this? But I want them with some. That right there. What? I remember I was being cheated. This? And I got the that. It don't suck, right? Great. It don't need dissolving bath water. <laughs> it just get clumps all at the bottom. <laughs> I'm doing this kid woman too. <laughs> this girl. Still wasn't so good. <laughs> and it rub on you like lotion. <laughs> Embarrassing, child. <laughs> oh, God. Wait a minute. Well, I guess they can just, they can just deal with this one then. Come on, let's go. Get the food. Girl, she don't watch me wanting them on either. She watch it, but she don't. But she don't. She, she, like she ain't gonna wait. She like edge here. Okay. Anything, anything that's the white area will probably be like, I don't want that. Got <laughs> like, you this little mermaid. She's like, which one is Oh, they got Mario Badescu um, acne facial cleanser. He's a, this is a good skincare line. They have all the girls we talking about. Yeah, I'm with her. That's I'm on doing. YouTube. I ain't know Walmart sold him. Saw me sold this. Okay, Walmart. <laughs> Trying to find mama's for her birthday on this cleanse. <laughs> Trying to find mama's for her birthday here on this cleanse. Yeah, remote. <laughs> yeah, I got your back up. <laughs> Get <laughs> Stop <laughs> cursing, man. Yeah, that's all she needs. She got to <laughs> Yeah, I got you a backup just in case you lose one. <laughs> you can never have too many Roku remotes. Yeah, they put this one in. Oh. Y'all going to take $3 off? What? The Centaur, this one, oh, uh, this one of the ones I oh, wanted. It was daddy's birthday. Right? Make clean of your CPAP a, a breeze. God, Rick, stop telling my daddy. How much is that? I ain't know what that was. I'm over here like, right? <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was a massage or something. You thought it was a ride. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm over here looking like. Stop playing with my daddy. Dad. That's, that's Kyron. I see who really love you. What's up, y'all? Lord, it's the next day. My voice sounds terrible. I just woke up. Um, well, I've been up. 
up. I just woke my son up. He didn't go he didn't go to school today. But my daughter, she's gone on to school. I try not to wake him up, but the light is on. I'm finna get ready for the gym. And the fan is on. I'm not turning it off because it's hot. But I forgot to end up the vlog yesterday. Child. <laughs> I told y'all yesterday was my mama's birthday, so we had ended up doing like a little appetizer platter type dinner yesterday piece of buffalo and barbecue chicken strips and nachos and stuff like that um and we were supposed to have a movie night but child everybody was fast we just went to bed uh, but i just want to show y'all what i got from walmart hygiene wise i had showed y'all me putting it in the cart but i just got some flushable wipes a six pack I already took one out for this morning for my daughter getting her ready for school good morning son good morning. um um what else yeah girl I got some body wash and antibacterial body wash swab for the kids uh, I just wanted to get them some antibacterial body wash see if it helps with my daughter's skin so far it's been doing pretty decent because my parents use that dove antibacterial um like I said I had got body wash for the kids swab y'all know I've been trying to stay away from the real expensive body wash because they run through it like water and I got the antibacterial kind um and then I got the kids new two brushes, spin brushes. I got Ken and Dinosaur one, and then Janaya a Mermaid one. Some more deodorant, the Suave Fresh thing. And that's it. I didn't get my body wash. I want. I want to try that Nutrien body wash from um, Target. So if you guys have tried the Nutrien body wash, that the girls is raving about. Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm curious to know how it is. I really wish I could know, like, get somebody's opinion on it. One of y'all opinion on it before I buy it. But if not, I'm still going to buy it. Just to try it out. Um, so I ain't get my body wash. I'm going to go up there and get it. And I also need to get some water wipes because I usually buy water wipes for my kids to wash their face in the morning so they can keep up their pretty skin or they some baby washcloths because it's really, really sensitive. I mean, it's easy on the skin and not as harsh as a regular face towel um so yeah i need to get some water wipes my body wash and y'all know i got to get the matching lotion if i'm trying a new body wash even though i still have some olay lotion but i'm out of my olay, my olay body wash what was that what was that i'm out of my olay body wash so if i'm gonna try a new body wash i gotta get the lotion to match so yeah um i just want to close the vlog out I ain't wanted to just end abruptly. I'm finna get ready and start a new one. Get up and go to the gym. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all in, in the next video. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah.